June was Pride Month and towns all over the South Shore gathered up their rainbows and put together their own unique Pride events. On June 26th, Plymouth Pride had its own festival right here at Nelson Park and the local scene was there with Pop-Up Pack TV to connect with our community and talk about why Pride matters. Happy Pride, friends! Woo! from the local scene by Pack TV, and we're here today at Nelson Park for the second annual Plymouth Pride Festival. It's gonna be a lot of fun, a lot of rainbows, a lot of drag queens, and a lot of smiles. Let's see what these folks have to say. Nicole O'Brien, president of Plymouth Pride. Why was it important to return with the festival this year? Filled up Mayflower Brewing Company within the first hour or two last year. So basically, uh, we had no other choice, as you can see by looking around. So yeah, that's pretty much that. I had interviewed Nikki and on my cable TV show up for Pack TV, my show profiles, and this is so important to her, and she gave me the reasons why Plymouth Pride was so important to her and her partner, Becky, and I, where else would you be on a beautiful sunny day than at Plymouth Pride down here on the waterfront at Nelson Park? Sky, what are some ways a person can be a good ally? Some ways that people can be good allies is really taking the time to learn and understand the experiences of some people that are in the community. Like, personally, my girlfriend and my parents have all taken the time to ask questions and ask about my experiences. And, like, all of my friends have learned to use the right pronouns for me and use the right name. And I think that's the main thing is really just taking the time to put yourself in their shoes and understand, like, the experiences that they are going through, even if you may not be able to relate to them, like, fully. So I think that's one of the main ways you could be a good ally in the community is really just taking the time to learn and understand and see it from a different perspective. Festivals like these are really important for people who can express themselves in certain environments and, you know, it's good to bring awareness to this topic because it can be difficult for some people to, you know, realize certain things about themselves and it's okay to feel these way. You know, it's amazing to have these kind of festivals for everybody, even allies, it's amazing. It's important to be here today because uh, my eldest child is part of this community and so now that makes me part of this community and I think it's very important for us to turn out and support our brothers and sisters in the community who are um, expressing their pride today. We're here to support all of you. I think it's fantastic, the wonderful turnout. We couldn't even get a place to park so it took us about an hour but it's worth it. We're here. Oh, we're so happy to be here on behalf of the Church of the Pilgrimage. It was important for us to have a booth here to show our support for the LGBTQ plus community. We're an open and affirming church right here in Plymouth. And we believe whoever you are and wherever you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. I feel like Pride Month is so important because battles have been fought. Stonewall happened. We fought for the rights. I did not personally fight for the rights then. I was not alive then. Um, but we fought for the rights just to be who we are. And I feel that there's so many people that hide who they are because they're terrified to let the world know. And Pride Month is a good time to be like, hey, guess what? I am, insert sexuality, here. Michaela, why is it important to have events like these and have Pride Month in general? As part of the LGBTQ youth community, I feel that we've not had enough recognition and I have been personally from in places that I'm meant to call safe, like my school. Not my home though, luckily, but I know people who have. My friends that I go, I go to a school which celebrates LGBTQ youth. Like We have a GSA club actually for Gay Straight Alliance and we are able to express ourselves in that one room only, but not throughout the halls. We had a flag and it was torn down. And I think that we should be able to have our flags up in our school halls and be able to show ourselves without having to be scared of who we are. And we should be able to express ourselves to whoever we want without them having to bring us down for who we are. 
I celebrate Pride every day um, by showing love, support, um, and just encouragement for every single person, especially Miss Jackie. You say hi, you. Jackie? Hi! And we have our lovely other people over here, Faith and Heather. We just have to give them a shout out. I didn't even know this was happening. I think that there should have been more word put out about it, but my best friend told me that there was a pride thing going on in Plymouth, and I live in Plymouth, and I'm gay, so let's go. <laughs> Savannah, what is your favorite color of the rainbow? Blue. Why blue? Um, because um, the color I really like because it's like, sometimes it's gonna be dark and sometimes um, light, and it's really pretty, I like it. Well, it's a great color on you, too. So what are you excited about the, the festival today? What brings you here today? Um, um, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. What have you seen today that's been really fun? Um, I saw today was, hmm, um, we went to somewhere to get these bracelets and these, um, sticker and this tech, um, thing. Very nice. And your hair is amazing. How long did that take you this morning? That'd be like 10 minutes. That's not bad. High five, thank you so much. Hi, I'm Switchblade Sadie with the Brockton Bruisers, and we're just here today doing a little networking, reaching out to the community, um, a little bit about our league. Um, we were founded because roller derby is not accessible enough. We are really focused on making sure that if you feel like you belong on our league, then you do. So that's why we're here. We are just so excited to be here. Um, part of this event is the second annual um, Pr Plymouth Pride Festival. We just really love to support the community, be part of the community now more than ever. It's really important to show our support for everyone in our community, especially folks that maybe don't always feel welcome in certain circumstances. We want them to feel welcome. We want them to come down, celebrate with us. We're offering free HIV testing. We have little buttons that we're giving away. It's all part of celebrating Pride and we're really happy to be here again. Hi, my name is Jim Hamilton. I'm with Greater Boston PFLAG. I serve as a volunteer facilitator for a group that meets in Duxbury at First Paris Church and on Zoom. Uh, and we've been meeting for seven or eight years and supporting parents and friends of the LGBTQAI plus community. Um, and we also, at the same time, actually, uh, a youth group meets there called Shagley. So it's important we're, we're supporting parents and friends, and we're also supporting through the Shagley group, youth from 13 to 21 who are interested in having social opportunities with other kids. It is just great to be here at Plymouth Pride today. Uh, we're talking to folks and really having a great time. So can you tell me a little bit about your business? It's a very interesting concept. So uh, my name is Jamie Gagne and this is my co-founder, Rudy. Hello. Uh, so Engage is a social networking app. We just launched on June 1st, it was our soft launch. Um, and essentially it's a, a queer friend finding app meets queer Yelp. So you can go on and find friends, uh, like-minded like friends, as well as find recommendations for queer friendly businesses, organizations, service providers, um, and whatnot. And so, yep. yep. You wanna talk a little bit no, about No, I don't. No, <laughs> okay, no. that was a great, uh, yeah, great yeah. piece there. That's how we uh, yeah, so we uh, we just launched, but we are going to have a lot of new features yeah. over the next, uh, you know, coming months, um, and so we're excited to be here. We're the co-founders, and we are excited for people to, to come check us out. Our website is engageapp.com, um, so check us out, find us on Engage, and we'd be happy to help. Hi, I'm Pam, she, her, hers, and I am the president of Cape Cod Pride, and we used to do a Pride Festival. We're unable to pull it together f during COVID. And this, yesterday we had our Pride celebration at Bad Martha's Brewery in Falmouth. We had over $1,000 in gift certificates from local businesses and artists from the LGBTQ community. Hi, my name is Monique, and I'm with the Betavet Boston Trans Support Group. I'm also the Executive Board of Director of Public Relations for Transgender Veterans Support Group International. We support the transgender veterans, anybody in the LGBT community, family, friends, allies, supporters. How can you treat the veteran without educating everyone else? Support begins at home. And we have Zoom meetings on Thursday mornings at 11. 
Uh, Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. for Vetebet Boston. Transgender Veteran Support Group International. We have on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. and Saturday at noontime at 12. We can go on to our site, vettebet.lgbt. That's our link. You can get on to our, any of our Zoom meetings through that. We uh, also work with um, BMC. We work with TABOR, Transgender American Veterans Association. And we also work with Trans Community of New England. And we just believe in numbers and strength. Uh, so we're with the Department of Veterans Affairs, the Vet Center. I'm with the Brockton Vet Center. Uh, Andrea's with the New Bedford Vet Center. Uh, and we are here to support veterans of all, um, support veterans of all eras uh, who have served overseas, who are um, survivors of military sexual trauma. Uh, basically, we're a counseling service that can help veterans uh, through any part of their life, through readjustment, uh, coming home from war, um, again, sexual trauma. Yep. We do couples counseling, we do P PTSD, as Kevin said, military sexual trauma, anything that is about readjusting to civilian life or even um, if you're still in active duty, we can help with adjustment with just about anything. Um, if your kids are struggling with deployment, we also see children, so we, are, we pretty much cover the entire scope of mental health services. If anybody would like to check us out, you can check us out at vetcenter.va.gov to find your local vet center. So, Raina, how do you celebrate Pride? I celebrate Pride every day by making every day count. Make every day count, all right? Every day, make sure you're right and ready for yourself, all right? Make sure it's in you. I celebrate every day by being myself. I am myself 110% every single day. That's it. That's all I got. Family, why is it important to have pride events like these, festivals like these? Uh. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, happy pride. Say happy pride. Happy pride. <laughs> uh, it's important to us uh, because we want to make sure our daughter has a chance to see other families like her. Yeah. We talked about what rainbows mean and that today we were going to be able to come and see other families that look like ours that she sees in her pride books and all of her other books that we have on our shelves. So that's why it, it's really important to have these. Mama, why do you say it? Okay. Go, your turn? What are you going to say? You're going to say happy Pride? Happy Pride. Happy yeah. Pride, everybody. It's been a great day at the Plymouth Pride Festival. We want to thank Plymouth Pride for having us here today. Make sure to check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for upcoming pop-up pack TV events. And make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more on what's good and what's good to know. From all of us at the local scene by Pack TV, we thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Hi friends, if you like this video by The Local Scene, share the love and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe.